Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again and in today's video I am going to be talking about a little bit of Doctor Who news because we do know that Doctor Who Day is going to be happening this Saturday which is very exciting. On the 23rd of November Doctor Who will be turning 61 which woohoo congratulations to Doctor Who. You know it's just nice that the show has lasted this long you know it's been through its struggles it's you know, been off air here and there, it's had its hiatuses, but it's always come through strong. And of course, Doctor Who Day, especially in recent years, has been some exciting announcements. Now, I'm going to do my final prediction for this. Uh, my, well, my final predictions, are not, there's not that many predictions I've got, but I'm just going to go through them anyway, just because um, I feel like us fans might be getting treated a little bit. So, yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the video and talk about my predictions. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be getting into before we get into the predictions is that there has been a Doctor Who watch along that has been announced. Yes, you remember those things during the pandemic where we all uh, sat watching Doctor Who and then typing along on Twitter reacting to it? Well, um, they've brought them back and we're going to be watching Boom. Yeah, the third episode of the late season, season one, uh, which was written by Stephen Moffat. I wonder why we're watching that one. Wink, wink nudge nudge i'll be talking about my predictions there but yeah we are going to be talking about boom arguably it's probably my favorite episode of the new season very closely next to 73 yards but i'd say boom comes out as just yeah the best episode of that season in my opinion but yeah very exciting stuff uh but let's go over to um this user on twitter and uh, matthew said um in response to the uh, TV Guide's been up now uh, for dates up until the 13th of December. There's no sign of either a colorization or the Doctor Who proms in the TV schedule up until that point. I reckon both will be on over Christmas at some point, maybe on the same night as each other. So, again, uh, we were promised that there were going to be more colorizations after the success of Daleks in Colour. Um, and I believe the two rumoured uh, Classic Who episodes are Tomb of the Sidemen and The War Games. So they're basically confirmed, and I reckon they're going to be easy announcements. And Doctor Who Proms for this year uh, was said to broadcast um, over the winter period. And so, I mean, yeah, why not broadcast it over the Christmas holidays? That would be really cool. But yeah, let's get on to the predictions. Okay, so, um, first of all, my first prediction is that we are going to be getting a Joy to the World trailer. Yes, we are going to be seeing Shooty in action, in a trailer, because the only things we've had from that episode is that there's been some clips. So we are going to be seeing an actual trailer, which will be very exciting, um, and we'll be seeing the Doctor in action. Uh, the next thing is, I mean, it was kind of put in that tweet anyway, um, I think we are going to get an announcement of a uh, colorization. I'm going to say it's probably going to be Tomb of the Sidemen that they're going to announce, um, and I reckon that one might. If it doesn't broadcast over Christmas, I reckon that might be in January, or maybe February. Who knows, it might actually go straight to DVD instead of just releasing on iPlayer. That could be a, a different uh, format change. Uh, we might get a collection box set announcement as well. Um, and perhaps another missing episode because I believe The Smugglers is the next one in line. I could be reading into that wrong though, but I, did, I do remember hearing about The Smugglers being one of the next ones. So that could be the one that ends up uh, being chosen. But yeah, they're kind of my predictions, really. I don't think we're going to get anything too crazy, like a spin-off announcement or anything like that. We're not going to get a trailer for The War Between Land and Sea just yet. Um, but um, there is one more thing I want to talk about, and I've just remembered about it. And it seems to be a little bit of an indication that, uh, well, some Doctor Who filming might actually be happening very early next year. So... Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Gallifrey One, basically it's a huge American Doctor Who convention that takes place in LA. Um, and they've announced that, um, yeah, some of the current Doctor Who executive producers will be there. So we've got uh, Joel Collins and Julie Gardner are going there, which is pretty huge stuff. But unfortunately, this is where the um, big news comes in. Phil Collinson has unfortunately had to withdraw due to work commitments. So what could that be? For in February, could that be, um, you know, because there's a certain season of Doctor Who that might be entering production, maybe, 
wink wink nudge nudge season three because i believe the war between land and sea will have wrapped up by then i think it's meant to be wrapping up next month or very early january so maybe the plans for season three might be happening then unless he's going off doing other work but come on <coughs> oh, sorry doctor who that would be amazing please that would be phenomenal oh my god yes just please so there we go everyone uh we've had our news that uh yeah, there's going to be some Doctor Who stuff happening on Doctor Who Day. There's going to be some announcements. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, we've also had um, some teasers that Season 3 might be happening. Uh, as well, there's some basically all but confirmed other stuff as well, such as Doctor Who colorizations and um, Doctor Who problems as well, which is going to be really cool. So with all that being said, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you're new around here, please click that like button and subscribe for more nerdy content. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the support. Take care. Love you all and peace.